We're on the modus, so you can see there, I showed you right here where I have the modus. I'm on it. I'm going to go down to lab scope. I'm going to go to four channel scope. All I really want is one channel. And I'm going to go over to channel one. I'm going to take my thing, go to channel one. I'm going to couple it AC. So I'm going to stop there for a second. You see the check mark there, AC? Make sure everyone can see that, see if anyone has a problem. Oh, my battery is going dead. What else is new? Let me get a power pack. I charged it up, but I guess it needs to be charged. And this is nice if you have a cylinder misfire, it's definitely the place to go first. Any drivability, because guess what? You know how long this takes to do? A couple of minutes, especially from the diagnostics. You do not have to come out and do this. You could plug this in the diagnostic link connector, Many cars have clear flood. Clear flood is merely holding your foot down, most of you know this, to the floor, and when you crank it over, it stops fuel from going somewhere, right? So no big deal. Pretty damn easy. We're in pin four and pin 16 in a breakout box. Okay, I guarantee you we have a compression box. So many people own a Snap-on product. Now, whether it's the Vantage Pro, whether it is the Verus, uh, what's that new one under the Verus? Um, huh? The Verdict. The Verdict. Whether it's the Verdict, this is the stuff I see a lot on the road, what guys have. Now the new Modus, there's a new Modus out, this is the old Modus, is a two-channel uh, scope. Here, only. Here's what we would do. We would go to Scanner, we would go down to Scope. In Scope, right. like that. We go to Lob Scope. Go to Four Channel. Hit Yes. Mm -hmm. It's doing its thing. I have the other channels off. I'm going to go down to channel one. You see channel one blue highlighted. I'm going to hit yes. Ah, it saved my AC. This is not normally checked. You see the AC? Because we did this before, it's, it's in the safe settings. So it's usually like this. Now I'm going to click AC. You see where it's displayed? That puts the channel on or off. We are going to put AC couple. Okay. Now, once I'm done, I'm going to get out of it. I'm going to go over, and I'm going to go here to 500 millivolts. This usually works pretty good on these scopes. I'm going to move over. I'm not going to worry about what it told me that I'm crazy doing that. It said the trigger was out of range. We don't give a damn. I'm going to go here to 500 milliseconds. 500 and 500, very easy to remember. Now the second half of all. And we'll play with it for a better resolution, but let's see, we'll start it. We got a dead hole. Okay. Hang on one second. I want to do a couple of things here to actually move this up a little bit. He's going to make it so it goes a little more negative, so that the zero line is more in the middle of the screen. Well, but then we don't want to lose the humps, but I just want to get it up yeah, yeah. just a little bit. And then I want to be able to get to the freeze, so we don't burn the starter motor out, then I have to drive you home and lend you a car. So I'll have, have a really, really long walk. Okay, go ahead. Let's crank it. There you go. Now, I could play with the time base a little more, but look at this. We only got five cylinders here, but look, there it is. And if you do it rep you know, repetitively, you can actually see it. So I'm going to slow the time base up a little bit. I'm going to come down, and now, rather than 500 milliseconds, I'm going to go to one second. Now, let me explain something very, very important. The very important thing I want to explain is what you're going to see up here as far as settings on a different scope. This may not true, hold true for your particular scope, depending on how it reads. These are good starting points. Because of the car and the scope, it may now, get you in there. And uh, I was saying before, sometimes the time base or the voltage base is by division, sometimes by screen. Also, some scopes have eight, some scopes have 10. So if it's by division, the numbers would change based on how many grids there are on that particular scope. Most of the new scopes are 10 by 10s, okay? 
not an eight by 10. Not by, yeah, that's right. 10 by 10s. And we should say, if you want this picture to look bigger, the amplitude, you lower the voltage. If you want the picture to look more spread out, you make the time base lower. And that's what we just had. We had five cylinders only showing up. This should give us all six. It'll actually give us almost We're two really inside. Nice. All right, got your two repetitive humps. There you go. And notice the crash. Let's analyze it a little bit. Notice a little bit of a crash here, but this, the wideness, the height, same thing here, the wideness, the height. You can see that these all look similar. The one before, the one after cylinder is gonna be affected by the cylinder that has a problem. But this is real easy to go, Mr. Smith, you got a mechanical problem. Now, Mr. Smith may not want you to do a compression test or a cylinder leak down test. And you know what? I'll get my 150 bucks. See you later. And, and you okay. can really go no further if you're looking for something like a misfire. Until you do follow those tests, you can't go any further. You're I'm going to take yeah. this off AC and I'm going to have to go down here. And I want to go DC now. So, I'm going to put this down, put it back on the screen so you can see it a lot better. And we're going to be using the scan tool as well so we can look at the oxygen sensor at the same time. At any rate, we are not on AC coupled and I don't want channel 2 on. So I'm going to take channel 2 and I'm going to take channel 2 and I'm going to Take it off so now you only see a yellow screen. We're going to change our voltage to, let's go two volts for the whole screen. Okay. I'm going to move this down a little bit so we can see almost the full range. That gives us some good stuff. I'm going to make the whole screen two seconds per division, uh, per screen, which breaks it down into division, divide that into 10, and it would give us a 200 millisecond. 